Hey folks, welcome to this episode of Road Hard Restorations. My name's Steve, I'm in my 1967 Ford Mustang in my garage. And on this episode, I'm going to show you how I installed three-point seatbelts for safety. In 1967, the Mustang just had lap belts, just like every other car uh, from the 60s. This car, when I bought it, had uh, three-point seat belts uh, already equipped. Somebody had upgraded using a common kit that mounts it to the inner quarter there. You have to drill a hole through the inner quarter panel there, which is uh, kind of a nuisance. Um, also in the door jam, you have this plate here with the stud welded to it and a couple pop rivets to hold it in place. Um, that's all coming out, and i got to weld up the holes, clean that up. Um, the inside, since there's that texture on these Mustang panels, uh, you can't weld it up because um, it would be really hard to try to recreate that uh, texture again. So i got to either find some new panels, or maybe I'll just put some black plugs in there after I paint it. But um, once you take it out, that's with the stud and a big old nasty hole in your panel. Now the problem with that, other than cutting holes in your inner quarter panel, um, is that it actually pulls down on your shoulder. So that is not good, but uh, it's definitely better than nothing or better than just a lap belt in the event of a serious collision. Um, one of the things to consider is uh, the convertibles. Uh, that's pretty much the only option you have um, other than uh, putting in a roll bar um, or a harness bar going across. So what I've done is I've installed these new uh, three-point seat belts that connect to the factory location where the shoulder belt would have been. Uh, now on this car in 1967 they didn't offer a shoulder belt but in 68 they did um, and uh, so I just used the factory mounting locations uh, for that seat belt um, even though like I said the 67 was not equipped with them it does have the provisions in the sheet metal stamping uh, for uh, the retainer. Now the uh, the kit that I have here from Westco Performance um, has its own bracket that goes into the slot um, to bolt the seatbelt to, but I just utilized the factory location and uh, secured it with a pop rivet. The factory one just has a clip just to hold it in place. Here's the three-point seatbelt mounted to the upper roof structure. Um, it comes down, uh, bolts down to the floor uh, with a bolt and a heavy washer underneath the floor. Uh, now this is the location where the previous owner had installed it. I'm actually going to relocate it when I rebuild the car. I'm going to move it closer to the rocker panel. Uh, so it gives us a little more foot room for the rear passenger. Um, also a better approach angle to the upper buckle there and everything. So the front section bolts to the uh, factory lap belt mounting in the uh, rocker panel. And then the... Uh, other side of the lap belt just mounts to the other lap belt portion of the floor. This will look a lot better once I have the uh, carpet in there and uh, a center console eventually. So installing the anchor plate, uh, you have to drill a hole for the pop rivet, uh, so you got to line that up. That's easy enough to do. You just put the plate on the outside, uh, run the bolt in to center it, and then just mark your hole, drill it. So the pop rivet's just there to hold it in place uh, so you can get the bolt in for the seat belt. Putting the plate inside is not a lot of room for your fingers to hold it in place. Um, so I tied some string around it and then uh, anchored it off uh, down low on the door handle just in case it, I dropped it and it fell inside the, uh, the quarter. I can uh, simply fish it out. If you can find the original uh, anchors, that'd be a lot easier because they just clip right in. You have to pull the headliner back a little bit to get access to it. Pull the molding off and uh, you can peel the headliner back and you have plenty of access. You'll take the uh, coat hook off as well. Pull this down a little bit so you can see where the bolt goes in. Um, I did put a little plastic washer uh, behind it to help protect the headliner. Um, it's the same washer that you usually find uh, behind the window cranks and so forth uh, on your doors. Um, so I just stuck it through the bolt and that helps protect the headliner, keeps it uh, from getting snagged on the metal. And then this slides over and then gets uh, hooked in there. They're pretty comfortable, easy to use, real easy to install, and I highly recommend them. The website where I purchased the belts is Westco Performance. They have a really nice tool to uh, find the seatbelt for your car. Just click on the seatbelt finder and follow the prompts. 
And if you want to see the exact belt that I got, uh, I'll put that on the screen here for you as well. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a comment, share, like, and subscribe so you don't miss another episode. And on next week, I'm going to be going over the installation of the Borgeson Power Steering System in the Mustang. See you in the next one.